know about that. And then those, I, I would like those and, and I would rap. Y me acuerdo que, que este, so un día, en esos días, to the hood, pues llegaban todas de Florence, todas de West Side Play, pues, y llegaban las de Easy Riders, all the, the, the females, right? So, like, Easy Riders, one of, one of the bros was dating one. And she was in there that day, so la, la que llegó, she was dating, um, you know, Chino from Escala? Yes. Okay, Chino, Chino, Chino. So me, this is how I met Chino. This is how I started with me. Chino, man. Shout out to the homie Chino. And uh, so so she was dating Chino, right? I didn't know this. So I got off the mic, me and then got off the mic. The homie's like, hell yeah. So every, that I was raps like custom made, but we shout out all the clicks and, and a certain homie or whatever, right? So she walks up to me. And, and she made a little card. And it's a card that won't be boy. It's a B boy records. And she's like, hey, my, my boyfriend has a record store. She said a record store, but I heard record company. I was like, oh shit, really? She's like, I made it. But you're not card. I'm like, I made it. That's it. I'm gonna get a record deal. So Le Marco, Le Marco, I called the number on the card and it's he me confessed chino. So he's like, hey, um, pull up over here to 900 East First Street, the loft area in downtown. Atlanta. Es un idea su, su, su boy de, que became the, the DJ of the Black Eyed Peas. Now I'm motivated. Okay. They were in LA High. Like, LA High was like the hip hop scene that LA had for schools, you know? Like those schools in that area, which is this area right here. Yeah, they were Because LA High is not too far from me. Y entonces este, he's like, come through, rap. So I go, vamos yo y veneno, right? Tom, his pinches, raps, little notebook, ready to put papeles on. doblados, all kinds of shit, right? <laughs> Yes, those ways they don't have shit. They got a little tape deck with a fucking cable and a mic. So estamos ahí rapeando y nos están grabando, right? Y ya, and then, uh, and then, me acuerdo que, que it, it, we, that shit turned into like four, three to four hours smoking weed. We're chilling. And this was the first time you ever met Chino. Man, that's not me, and, he, and he's from 18, you know? But, yeah, but, 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 but right there, that, that didn't matter. That's Because Because that, that, that area's always been like artsy people. So everybody right there is just like, you're, you're an artist right there. I mean, like, literally, like, you're an artist, you're painting, you're a musician. So that was my introduction to that world where I was like, oh, shit, it's cool right here. The hood ain't that far. Fuck it. So entonces, me acuerdo que when I'm, I'm leaving, le, di, le digo a Motivate. Le digo a los dos. Le digo, hey. But, because I was rapping on fucking instrumentals again, right? They had me right there rapping on the instrumentals. Like, hey, but how do you make a beat? I don't fucking make a beat. I want my own beat, like an original beat. And they're like, they hit me with the bad news, like, nah, we're gonna need about like 3K, because you gotta buy a sampler, you gotta buy this. But I'm like 14, 15, maybe like 15. I don't think I was gonna turn 16. It's like, all right, it's cool. We start robbing, put us, put us 211s. I said, no robberies, but pero, pero we would never come up. It would be just enough to get the, get some Cortezes, get a stamp, stay fly, stay fly, and just. No, no, no. The JC Penny shirt. No, no, yeah, no, 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 se hacía. Y entonces, este, de hecho, hubo uno de JC Penny right there in Ohio and put on like six shirts. Ah, a gang of them. And then leave with a gang of white shirts on. Like, open up a gang of packs yeah, and just put sure. them on and take off. And we're in this dead end, right? And one of the dead ends where we kick it at, which is, viene siendo la Adams and Juliet. And, and Fools already had datings on the cars back then. Right. So this is like four in the morning. We're in there like, all those that don't go home, all, yeah. the, all, the, all yeah. the women that don't go home. Down the hood. Yeah. So we're right there. He, he, Pinche Camaro goes down the dead and fucked up. They, they, he era, era, no, era un, como un IROC. Gold datings. Se mete esa madre, and they're like, they go all the way to the end, and they're like, fuck. So they start doing, so in Chinga, we like push the big trash can, we block the street, and it was like, hey, bajense la verga. So we get these fools off, all cowboys. So we arrest these fools. We have them on the wall. Todos acá. That's it. We arrest these fools. The homies take off in the car. Y nos dejan a nosotros. So I was, because I was a kid. So they like, the homies sort of like got us, you know? Yeah, yeah of course. So we're like, nah, nah, nah. These fools are ours. <laughs> we, the car, we, we get, these fools belong to us. So we get these fools for bracelets, chains. Wow. Los las bolas. These fools walked wow. away in socks. Wow. No, the no. hats, all that shit. Los cintos, <laughs> todos. So, so, I eased one of I then I hit them up. That was the link that helped you out right And there. I was like, hey, let's go shopping. All right, cool. Fimos bought a sampler, a uh, four track. It was a task camp, four track demo, microphones, headphones, cables. That's All right, right, now make me a beat. Yeah, you invested all of You invested. You invested. <laughs> I invested in that shit. What did, so, you brought it back to Chino or what did you do? No, not to Chino, to motivate. Oh, 
Because Chino really, he didn't have a record company. He had a record store in Slauson. He had the store. He had the store. So Chino, we just, he come through all the time. We smoke weed on the roof. And then, um, and you know, I'd ask him and shit. And he would ask me about the homies. So he knew the homies. You know, because the men, the homies would go to LA High, even though they'll fight. But it was more different. It wasn't as violent. It was, yeah, it wasn't. You know, there could be. They probably some of them even knew each other. From yeah, the yeah. School and little yeah. Yeah. So, so, so Chino was just like he was just tripping. He has all the original demo tapes. They was gonna all those. Really? those cassettes, all the originals. He has them. That's so, cool. so fucking the hippos and all those. So we record like the okay. It was right there on uh, 900 East First Street. So we'll we'll be in the hood and like me and Bandit, guess one of the oldest bros. He'd be like, hey, wait. Low key, bet the way. I'm gonna pick you up because homies don't want to come, you know. So we just jump in the car, we'll go to motivates, start working on beats, recording, you know, start. That was the, the initial demos. There's, there's a they're out there, they're on YouTube. Who's that put them out there? That's right, those are all the originals. I want to read a passage from a reporter in the in the 90s out in your hood, right? Yeah, let me read it to you. Let me, I, I want to know what your take on this. All right, in the late 1990s, reporter Hector Becerra described the Harpies gang. And I quote, like the winged myth myth mythological monsters they are named for, with a dubious power to spoil whatever they descend upon, the Harpy Street Gang has soured the lives of residents and merchants in the neighborhood. Domino's, you can get any two medium, two topping pizzas for six ninety nine each, or lava cakes, bread bites, and more. I mean, I think that happened in every room. You, you you start victimizing your own community at, at some point because at first you're there, but then. But is that how violent and how how? how it was not, it, it, in, the, in the hood, it was violent. Like fools were dying, like like nonstop. Like even like there's even like this conspiracy that cops were killing homies. There was there was like you know there was a like a, there's like a one time where the way they hit the homies standing in three different locations, all were like headshots. Like, there's no way fools knew how to shoot. Like, like they're just, I mean, I don't know. LA was just a, it was a, it was a different, it was like, I heard the homie say that, that um, one of the homies at Ranch said that shit's like mother nature and shit. Like, you know, shit's not right. Shit's out of balance. That I got what it's got to, then it like reinstates itself, you know? And I think like, I mean, but see, even though he says that, when, when I was living that, I didn't feel it like that. I just was, I probably would have heard them, would have been proud of that shit back then. Of course. I would have been like, hell yeah, look, they saying we like, we, we the craziest, you know, out here or, or whatever, you know, or anything, any kind of attention that we would get back then would be right. like, homies cutting that shit out or, you know. And what do you think so many, so many youth in that time were doing on the street gangs and doing all this stuff? Was it for the attention, recognition? Um, attention, recognition. You were that about that? I mean, you know, it's kind of cliche what I'm about to say, you know, like fools will be like, nah, well, you know, you know that, the recognition, this and right. that, the females, the camaraderie, or, or, yeah, or lo que sea, yeah. but, but that's your neighborhood anyway, so it's like, oh, and then this is the gang community, okay, cool, and then, and you kind of like, because you're, I remember being a little kid and being like, heartbeats, a little kid, like a little kid, because they were there, they were my neighbors, you know, established. I remember when they beat up my, my manager, it was Carmen's. It was hard because they had a ditching party. He had waving up to God, so they were making noise, and they opened the door and knocked that fool out. He, 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 they like growing up right there, for we see, we'll be in the hood, we're kids. Oh, okay, we'll spot some fools, okay, from some other place. We'll go to the homies run away. I asked them to the way, it's, over there, what they wearing, what they doing? It's just, I don't know. So I don't, I don't know if, I mean, I would have been proud of that back then. I bet. Well, I think any hood would be. Yeah. To be realistic. Yeah. Anybody, yeah. Any hood, like any kind of beast, like any, like, you know, Fox News, you do all kind of things. Yeah, yeah. Still do. Anybody from the man, you know, is it? Is yeah, it? yeah, yeah. The army, or we see footage of a army, or, or some shit. Like, I think they kind of downplay. They don't know that they're actually kind of glorifying it much more. Yeah, it's similar to that one with the two little kids from uh, Captain Water for Sea of Flash. When that came out, it was, I was like, huge. Yeah, everyone see it, all of a sudden they talk about that hood, and, and, and it gives them that recognition. It gives yeah. them free advertisement for the free hood. Free advertisement, so, I mean. But I, I, guess, I guess that more so people kind of realize the, 
the life that you live, the hood that you live, the water that you from, that it, it was very treacherous and messy. You know, it was it was like like other cliches, a product of your environment. Yeah, yeah. Right. But I think that when you're like living it, I, I, I mean, I didn't notice that. To me, it was like, it's not like Friday, you're getting ready, you know, that's not Talk to me about that. I mean, talk to me about, about the steel back then. When, you had, when you're getting ready on a Friday, how was that? We were g up like that. Yo, like us, like, 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 like the hood, like, we, we took like the homies, they were like fucking fashionistas. Like, that's like, it's like they took, they took pride in that shit. Fashionista on Instagram. Homie. Yeah, yeah. So they, they took, they took pride in that shit. You know, like, like a lot of my homies, I feel like they, they even six hands and just like the way they dressed and everything. You know, like they, they even bunk some shit back there. They really have died out when there'd be the little Phoenix, you know, the, you know, the, the sleeveless ones yeah, yeah, or sure. whatever, you know, but, but, you know, we just, cause back in the day in the hood, like, the homies were like, like if your shit was a brand new look, kind of fuck out of you. Your shit gotta be brand new. The little piquitos gotta be like, right. That's like a little two If you didn't brand new, you have to have a little two foot, make your shit look right. And like, then your, your white, your white t shirt gotta be white. Because if they dingy, they don't have a chingo de carrilla. Be like, este way que, esa madre me salió. The homies were fucking, uh, with, with, uh, with, uh, iron their boxers. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. boxers. And like us, like, we wear two white shirts. That way, it looks whiter. You put one on it, so it looks like whiter. You know? And then, like, the Cortezes, like, I'll get, we'll get, like, socks, and then we'll put it, like, right here into the tongue, so they look popped up. And it was sort of like a New York people, like, but it was New York Cholo, but you make them look like puffy, like something like an Adidas would look, but you just doing it with the Cortezes. And did you see the trend also that we did, that he was saying, went from long hair? Slick back hair and the homies all became Yeah, yeah. You know, you kind of saw the whole change in the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those pantalones became all the way. Yeah, the totes. I used to be wearing like 56. You're still a thin guy, but you're a pretty thin guy back then. You were the 56 guy? 56. That wasn't running full of the strap. Man, I just, it's like, you know, we have to look at these things in the back, okay, you step on the ground. And yeah, put put save or put it up. Yeah, we'll take a little. Just make sure it's under. Yeah, just um, you know, and, and I don't know. We just try to look right on the, on the weekends, you know. It, it was a different style. Yeah, the weekends is like, I mean, if something was going on, but we just be out there like. So, how many how many years were you out there in the hood before the big chapter in your life that changed? <laughs> so it it had you on the run. Well. I went on the run and I don't know if it was 2001 or 2002. I went right there. So I was told, like, the tail end of the, the 80s, the last of the 80s, the whole 90s. So and you were out there with all that crazy stuff. Yeah, so, so from the 2001, 2002, it's going to be. Right. E, that's, e, that's when you became a fugitive. Yeah, e, e, and it's crazy because that last. I'm gonna say that last. I'm gonna say 90 days, but it might have been 60 or 30. You know, right. So it was like. Um, three attempts on me, where I almost got got three different times. And then I some dude. It was crazy because one of the times a little kid, a little kid, like uh, he, maybe he was older, but he looked like he was like 13. Yeah, I was right there in the park, and, and you know I was I used to work construction, carpenters, we all doing all that shit. So um, I went to the hood to to recap or we get dope okay, because the outside was away. in the daytime and dealing dope at yeah, night. Yeah, so I was right there waiting. I was going the edge. So, so I was right there, and my bro went to the back. He's taking some fucking cables, and he just came to the house. He came, and I'm in the front, by a crusty from the corner. But there's a little barn. I'm right there, dirty, fucking see yeah, my house. Boy. Yeah, you know, dirty jeans, and I'm just right there, and I see a car coming down the side of the park, like four guys, and I look, and my door's open, and the area had open, and they're looking inside the park. Not, I'm on the other, I'm on, I'm on this side of the street. They're looking that side of the street. And right when they, they get like right in front of me, I'm like, hey, and they turn around, I'm like, your heart beats. And the little kid jumped out and he let one off. Yes, I'm like, me quemo la pierna, it made me fall. And like, I don't know, it's like weird, it, me, me, me quemo, it burned through the pants, like it's skinny. And I got up, and I'm like, I remember there was a girl that lived right there, she had it just by the brand behind the city. So when I ran around behind the city, they lit up the whole front of the, all the windshield, I <laughs> yoda yoda at the end. My God! E, e, and there was a soccer game going on inside Uber Park, right? So I'm like, man, should I just jump? Because 
That's the way he wouldn't give up. He chased me almost all the way to um, Adams. Oh, he wanted that. He wanted that. So I was like, God, I ain't gave up. And I was just like trying to cycle him out. And, that, you know, and they, they took out, they backed up, and he jumped in. He said, well, then I was, uh, I seen some, some soccer players at a gas station, right? Normally in Washington. And look, we just look, look patrolling on a Sunday. But, but I, like some of them were bald, you know? Yes, they, I mean, let's pull up on these dudes. We pull up on them. And they're like on this side, pumping on this side, so we pull up on this side. Hey, que barrio? And, and, but, but like, they were like, you know, back when you're on the street like that, you got like a sixth sense. They felt it because simultaneously, I seen a move. Like, someone did some shit like this. And he went for it, and, and he fucking gave it to me, my whole shit. He, I punched it, I barely, I don't even know how, okay? Like, like glass was in my ear, and in my mouth, like, boom, 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 and I smashed out. Because I'm fresh, otra más, más fresco. I just felt like there was a lot of shit going on. He, he, but you know, you, you, get, you, you get addicted. Yeah. You get addicted to it, it's like, you still want to wanna do it. He, um, so pasa lo que pasa, I end up going on the run. I, what year did you want to run? I, that's what I'm saying. I think it was like 2002. I'm not sure. Two, okay. I mean, 2001, 2002. Early 2000s. Yeah, early 2000s at like the beginning. Yes, they, now, when you took up on the run, you're the, in the car? No, no, no. I didn't really leave. I was in the area. Well, you were in the hood still. No, not in the hood. Different, different spots. Okay. Moving around. You were in the States. In okay. the States. Moved, States. We moved around. And, oh, I like this. Came back. And then we were in the car. Well, you say you don't like this. What do you mean? I, don't, I didn't like to see us, like, our world's little. Yeah. We don't like nothing that's not the hood. It's, it's not like how I feel now. Right now, I, I just want to see the world. I don't care about it. I, I care about like... Well, back then, the world's a box. Like, yeah, so, a box so, so... And even though I was... My, my, my family's always living in the valley. Right. But all that stuff, yeah. You know, but... So, like... It wasn't home. So, yeah, that's my comfort zone. So, so we come back, but not to the like hiding around or whatever. And then my, my boy was like, hey, it was, my family was, was like telling us to pull up. There's work for us over there. Yes. Over there you're yeah, there's work. So I'm like, well, fuck it, let's get out of here. How much you got? I know when I left, I had three K and he had like six or seven. And then we left. Yeah, we think well, I know that 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 night that we crossed, and I was we were, we weren't even talking, we were just quiet. They crossed us in the car. Uh we just like you see, like, you see the lights of America leaving now you're watching. Yeah, and it, it, it was nighttime, so so when we you, you, you see Mexico. The smell changes, so it's cool. But but then and then um we ended up riding a, a bus like a Greyhound, right? All the way to Jalisco. So it's like a 36 hour ride. And then so the whole way there, I'm wearing a Dodgers jacket. I'm 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 bald. I'm still banged out. Yeah, and, and, and the bus is empty. There's a little bit of people, you know. The, the buses are full when they come back up. But that way that and that time when we went, it was like empty. Yes, they, I remember my boys like three rows back at one side. We're not looking at it, we're not even talking. And we're just like, I'm just like looking at it. See, I'm just like, like, like depressed. I don't, know, I don't want to say suicidal, but anxiety. Like, anxiety. You feel like you're like a whole mundo, basically. The world's over. And this is where they start. This is day one. Day one, to day one and a half or whatever, 36 hours. Yes, they, yeah, we get over there and it's a party. Oh, the drinking, like, you know, just taking it all in. And then after about a month, it just dies out. We don't have no money. Shit's like, ah, I like this. I used to buy brand new clothes every week to go kick it. Brand new clothes every week, brand new shoes every single week. So now my shit's looking, I'm looking dingy. I'm looking like, in order there's dirt, you can't stay clean. Even if you right. want to stay clean, <laughs> you can't wear white shoes over there, you know? <laughs> you like crispy white shoes, it ain't happening over there, you know? And then I, I just fall out of place because I, just, I start realizing that my, my, my dress code, shit is lame over there. It's, it's shit. Yeah. You, how did, you how did like, they treat you out there when you got there? I mean, it's one thing to go visit over there, yeah. there's another thing to go live over there. Well, see, that's the thing. When you go over there, they know that Americans come over, you know, they come. But, but after some time, if you're staying, they're like, wait a minute, 
Y él no, él like, either este güey está deportado o este güey trae pedos en el otro lado. Y, y pues, you know, and, and now you're starting to like, like paranoid as fuck. I'm like, anxiety, I can't sleep. I, I feel like I didn't sleep 15 years the whole time I was there. I mean, I slept, yeah, but, but I think like, sleep. it's like, I would always want to sleep by window so I could hear. And, and, and then just like, oh, you know, just get up and, 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 and see it started. And then it got to a point where me and my, me and my guy, we split up. We're like, fool, we're bringing too much attention to those ways. It's just split up. And then as soon as something pops out, hit the marco, yeah. And then, but it, it took like another, so we always talk and everything. Right. We'll meet up in different spots in Guadalajara, eat, boom, go our ways again, shit like that. The, and then, it, then that's when my life started going slow. And I kind of started to jump, like, for the first time in my life in a long time, my life got slow. It, got slow down, it huh? goes so fast when I'm here, especially towards the end, it goes so fast. Y este, and that was the culture shock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he. And then um, I remember when, when like, we're like, nah, they, they told us, like, hey, I see, we can't fuck with you like that. You gotta get rid of that shit. And I remember I had two duffel bags. This shit had, like, that's what I'm saying, diaper jackets, all this shit. Like, the all, all the gear, oh. I, there was some fucking Mexican cholos, right? But <laughs> a cholo in Mexico is equivalent to a crackhead. Oh, it's a no respect. Really? Oh, and, yeah. and, 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 and I don't give a fuck if you just got out of the bed for 40 years. Oh, but then you get the 40 years. You're nothing. Not the you're nothing. And if you try to be hard, you're going to go in my head. You treat some, somebody the wrong look. And, and, and I, didn't, I didn't know this. You know what I'm saying? Because my, my family, they're, they're not into drug trafficking. Right. They're not in, my boy's family was into all that shit. Right. So he's been in it his whole life, you know? Me, I'm starting to like see things. And, and then, um, so I remember that first day we got rid of all the clothes. I gave some fucking two clothes that I didn't make them. Stop telling on the phone. I remember that like, two like, brothers in like, oh, like, oh, like, oh, like, and, and we jumped into some fake clothes for the first time in ever. You changed your appearance. Yeah, changed my appearance. Did you changed your name. Yeah, yeah, I had different names, all that. Yes, the so. Even it's funny because even when I when I finally get caught and I hear my name after 15 years, I feel weird like ah, oh, that's not me. Right. And even when I go to the county, you know, for example, Arkansas. Oh, even that's okay. weird. We'll, we'll get to that. So now you're out yeah, there. Out there. Um, did you have your daughter at this time? No. No, I don't have it. So how many how many years into your into your running for the mom did your daughter come to play? Maybe about like seven or eight. Okay. So I'm running now. I'm, see, okay, my life slowed down, right? Yes. For that, for like maybe that first year. Because I'm alone, I'm away from everybody. I'm just with my family. I'm like, I'm getting to know things. You know, I find out that, that we're Asian. My grandpa's family's Asian. I'm finding all these things out. On the other side, on my dad's side, my grandfather was a pistero, who, you know, like, it was a, a church against the government. I'm finding all these things out, like, just randomly, like, what? Looking through shit and just like talking. I see my uncle. Um, You're not to your roots. Yeah, I, I see my uncle die of um, throat cancer. Fuck me up. I, I didn't know what to do. As a matter of fact, I ran down the street when the car was right outside the door. I ran like like 10 blocks to get a taxi. That's all. I was like, you know, my homie's been dying my whole life. Yeah. Violently. Yeah. But watching my uncle die, like choking on his own blood and all this, it traumatized me. Like, because. You know, that's my dad's book. You know, like, uh, an extension of my dad in, in the same sense. And it just it hurt me. That shit fucked me up. Okay, that's how I remember um, I was working out early in the morning. And I was bumping audio slave. That was my shit. I was just hearing audio slave. And that song was playing like a stone. So every time I hear that song, it reminds me of my, my truth. Okay. Because cause it just, because there's a, there's a line on that, in that song where it says that, that he was playing to anybody. He was a fucking pagan. Like he just wanted to make it, and, and my uncle was doing that. Like he was like, you know, they were taking it to fucking. He was going to the hospital, but they were like using herbalists. But it was too late. Like when, by the time they brought all these like, like uh, homo, homo, uh, Priorities. yeah, the uh, homeopathic, is that what it's called? Este, era, era, era muy tarde, y este, 
it was, it was sad. But but you know, but well, there was a lot of like good times, you know, and not being the you know, all the have fine shows and all that shit. So barbecues in the middle is like nowhere. And and but I'll still be like some days off, some we got off, I'll straight forget that I was a DJ. But then it, it can be anything, something fucking trigger it. Anything like something will trigger it, and then they all go on this. Like, you, you ever have any suicidal thoughts? Man? I think I did, cause, cause there was there was a time where I just couldn't take it. I'm like, I'm gonna turn myself in. Fuck this. And I seen a gang of people do that. Yeah, very I, they they can't take it. They can't it's adapt. They, they, they can't adapt. And, and and me, I got blessed again. My homie, he, his family knew how to do it. His family supports the dudes. From the best, from the DEA, crazy two the families doing it, you know? That's why, like, I feel like I, I was blessed in a way that I got to be around a lot of self made people. It's either legal or illegal. I got to see, like, fools that. I remember one time we were over there, right? And uh, we went to this meeting with, with, with my boy's family. Because we were on, uh, like, rolling with the community there. We go to this meeting, and this dude rolls up, right? And this is this is back then. We they don't roll like that. But that's the way they got three range rovers. Boom, boom, boom. They don't they don't care about it anymore. Right. It's like a yeah, fucking can giveaway. He is that way, yeah. And then uh, he knew about us, but we I didn't know who he was. He was from Florence. This was major. Right? There's no fun and all this shit. He looked like a architect. I didn't know. I I didn't know, right? So then, but well, and we're not allowed to talk to him anyways. Who am I? I'm nobody. I'm, I'm, you gotta, you know, go get this, pick up this, that shit. Right. Yeah, so then we end up seeing him again. But this time we pull up, this we got Timberlands on. He's wearing jeans, a long white shirt, and a big ass gold chain. And I, and I could tell he's a homie. Right there, I knew he was a homie. Like, just different things. Y el güey, ya el último, que de eso platicaron, se nos arrima, y nos dijo, eres el delizio. That's it. And you're right. And then that's what it's all it's the police are throwing us and, and oh shit. But I mean he got killed over there, you know, later, years later. They well, that's what I was gonna ask you because I mean I had a lot of homies get deported and go out there and I don't got killed, huh? Yeah. Did yeah. you see a lot of homies get killed and how did you kinda I didn't fuck with no homies, I stay away from any homie because there was a lot of informants over there and then even I just I just you know, I just um I mean, you sent to me because he, like, I think, I just, I took that in. This is, I didn't like it at first, because my boy always would tell me, like, hey, Rami, what? He's like, fool, this is home. I'd be like, hell no, this is your home. He's like, nah, fool, this is home. Like, hell no, Charlie, we're going to But you always had that kind of real Mexicano in you, because there's a difference. There's a Mexicano, there's a Porto. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the homies that go there, they're the best. They're the best. They don't fuck with them. It's even harder. And look, you know what? You won't, you told me, you already lost my name. Mi mamá, todos saben español. Yeah, I'm Mexican, you know? Yeah, for sure. But I get to Mexico and I realize I don't know how to talk Spanish right. I'm over here like explaining myself with hand. I'm over here doing fucking <laughs> hand, you know, sign language almost and shit. Because it, 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 it's not matching. It's, it, no it, it, check it, it, it's, just, it's not It's not good enough to hold a conversation with them without mistake. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? All that bullshit, you know? Yeah. I wasn't doing like that. I, I was in the hood, I was hungry, like, you know, that, that street, right. that street Mexican, it's Spanish style. It's a madre, si, you know? Y este, but, but over there, no more no, 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 you know? So, so they told us, I remember like, soon see, si, okay, so I'm over there, my life's going slow, I'm, I'm, I'm self, uh, soul searching. This is the first couple of years. No, this this is the first year. My oh, shit, okay. My shit went wild after the first nine months. It turned off and it went worse than even LA. Okay. Like, I also took Elo, like next level shit. You know, he, of course. He, 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 so that first year was it was. I'm enjoying it. You ain't got mental like a mala when you're born. Pack your shit. Instead, I'll be over there like five six hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go high. There's no shit to do. That's right. So I was like. What is it? And he's like, nah, I ain't gonna tell you. I'll tell you when I get there. Ya como llegó, which was, that was the plan anyways. You know, when we crossed, that was the plan. We we're gonna do this to get enough money to come back and beat this, which was oxymoron, like, really. <laughs> like, we're gonna do the business over here to, 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 to get the money to come, to go back to LA. That's right. how much we missed LA, you know? 
y este, I was like, all right. So we go, and now I'm starting to be in the, being around them. I start like, big, you know, that's why like, who's like, who's trip out that I only listen to Spanish music now? Cause I'm like, man, listen to that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got to tell me, I'm like, oh, I bump all that shit. I bump all that shit. Because, you know, but that's because now I'm taking it in. I just don't like this shit. Like, but I always, my, my family, you know, of fucking always play that. That's party music, barbecue music. Yeah, every, every party. Yeah. So, so, but now it's like, you know, you know, know los corridos, it, it, it was already started in LA here, you know? Because right. también that's another thing. I'm not even sure homies de quebraditas, de guajudos y todo. You know, that's another, like, segment of LA that was happening, too. Like, right. another movement that the homies were doing, it too. Even though they were, they were from us, but they were over there with, you know, Parral and Rodeo and all that shit, you know? Right. So, well, we're over there, you know, and, and Right before that, right before that call, I remember I went to a concert with two of my mom's brothers, right? So, you know, I have my, my boots on, the cowboy boots. I had to put on the boots that way, yeah, all, all, all that shit, bro. Shit, bro. Straight up. Hell yeah, yeah, that's That's like, right. You know, so I'm over there, we went to see uh, Valentino Elizalde, este, La Banda Limon. I've seen like three like major that were popping right there. Right. So I'm drinking with my uncles, because that again, they're like an extension of my mom. My mom's brothers, you know, so I, I, I feel good. And plus, my uncle, the one that I'm with, he always loved it. This, this dude would take, he would take us in his van skating sometimes. He would take us hiking over here in um, Griffith Park. He would take us to Magic Mountain D. No money, he'd pay for everybody. He's, he's, the, he's the richest brother of all the brothers. So he always, like, we, we even though he'll, when we get mad, he'll fuck us all up. Put everybody on their knees, stench him for fuck everybody up. I almost got on that seat. Pero he loved them. I still love him. Like, like, you know, and we were over there, we were drinking, drinking, drinking. And I remember he told me, he's like, he just he's like, kind of pulled me to the side. He's like, hey, acá, basically he told me, you're going to have to find somebody over here. Acá, he told, he told me, you know, what's the word he used? He said something to the extent, acá, acá se son valientes. It's, 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 it's otro, like, he explained to me, it's going to be different. And I was drunk, I was like, yeah, yeah, you know, you know, but I didn't know. I told me, yeah, I don't say, I say, I know everything, but I have no shit. We together, he, he, he. Then I get the call, then all this other shit starts happening, and, and we're, I'm, now I'm hearing about, you know, DEA informants and FBI informants and this food. He gets their way and stuff like this one. I'm starting, all this shit's starting to happen around me. And, um, but it, it, it still doesn't, I'm not, I'm around it, but I'm not like caring that much. I'm just like, I mean, I'm even feeling like out of place. I'm out of my comfort zone. I'm not, I don't feel like I'm in, in, in. Because they still looked at us like, man, bitch, it's my language. Bitch, it's total. Bitch, it's, it is for $100 or some shit. I'm going to go fucking, you know, like, you know, to. They didn't see you guys are serious shit. Not yet. Not yet. And then, you know, more shit happened. Then we, we, we end up in TJ because this lady, some, some boss lady, right? She, she's like, after some shit, she was like, I, I nothing but little matches over there. So she's like, pick one. That's you guys. Like that. You guys pick one, and that's you. Make sure you just take care of it. And um, and that's what we did. So I, I like the TJ better because I see people could come with clothes. TJ's more like the US in a sense. You know, because it's all in English. And, and the boys move my butt. We're fucking up by doing that. Because where we're living in, and where we're at, it's the, the area was being pure rich people, politicals, people with bodyguards, our neighbor, our consulado americano. All these things are going on, right? And and, and on top of that, you know, there's surveillance going on. We don't see it, we're blind to it. I don't know about it like that, but it's going on. These fools, like, and even the US is over there, but the US can't let themselves be known, but they're there. But there is more like intelligence. And then they told, like, hey, this is there, make it happen, bring it. Shit like that's happening. So and they're trying to figure out who you guys are. I mean, it, 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 it kind of got to that. So on the reset, there's a song called 15 years. When I dropped the reset, I told a story. Like, un día, okay, we're, in the, we're in the pad, right? The in front of the casa, there's a sign in front of the casa, venta or venta. But it's bullshit. It was wasn't for sale or rent. It wasn't. Right, it was, so one day, they leave on the portal. They bring all the cameras, all the screens turn on in the house. 
by the kitchen with a gang of screens, they all turn on, all they do is anything. Takes by the close to the door, they all go out. So we're like, see, pasó? And it was like, dude, it's kind of similar to you, like stocky, military vibes, you know, like that. Like, ah. And then he's like, hey, see, que vamos a hablar con el dueño de la casa. And we're like, no, 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 acá no vive el dueño de la casa. Oh, pues que vamos a hablar con alguien. But he's a normal. This is the fucking La PGR. La PGR is, was, was, because they disbanded them and now they call it FGR. Because they, right? yeah. they were corrupt, right? So that's them. That's them at the door, right? So everybody's like, you go, no, you go. Nobody wanted to go. We're three fugitives living in this house. Yes. That, that could be a series right there. So yo voy a la puerta, right? Pero cuando ya abro la puerta, ya están en el carro. Y están en un Chevy en algo. Y en esos días, I didn't stay, I didn't think. Todos los judiciales, ministeriales, o los judíos de la PGR, tenían de Chevy en algo. So they call me to the car, and I still walk up to the car. And I walk up to them, and they start interrogating me. Hey, ¿qué en la casa? Like, like, who? And there was a female. Three dudes and a female. Aggressive. And the female was the aggressive one. Like, barking at me, and... ¿Cómo que no sabes? No, la no es que no sé si estamos en la casa por son, por el verano, estamos nomás aquí. Oh, sí, and like not believing a word I'm saying, you know? Y eso, eh, no se puede tener, and like, they just, you know, and they just peel out in front of me. Boom, se van. Y me quedo así, and these dudes watch it on the camera, and like, what the fuck is that? And the dudes just peel out, and están hablando. So, two weeks later, llega mi boy a la acción, con un carro que compró la acción. Shit, the airbag is gone, so no hay nada mejor, no hay nada. So we wouldn't come out at that time. We had quads, and we just had, salíamos, ya salimos, ah, las hills, hasta los T-Mobiles se ven ahí, pero ya tenemos Boost Mobiles and next hills. So entonces, este... Tying them out, losing your health coverage, or welcoming someone in. When life changes, Cover California helps you find and pay for quality health insurance. 90% of enrollees have received financial help. Learn more at CoveredCA.com. Cuando llega mi compa, we had ordered a pizza, I remember. Some shit called, um, what was that pizza we don't get? Right there by, nah, that other one. It's the main one in TJ. So whatever. So we're like, nah, let's come to the car away. We wouldn't do a pizza, we'd rather just go pick it up. And he's like, oh, here's 20 bucks, I'm not going to pay it's under the E. All right, so we subimos, and we live in a quarter sack, like, a double quarter sack, like, there's a park in the middle, I see. Two little dead ends, right? And the dead ends connect at the end, too. Salimos, when we hit the stop, stop sign, we made a right. And I was like, my boy was driving. He just said, we looked at you like, what the fuck was that? Because either it was a big ass lens or it was binoculars, but, but, but we seen it, it was big. I don't know if it was, but, so we're like, damn, I got in it. Boom, they get behind us. La Forty Storm. The line, whatever that year was, that was a, was a brand new one. It starts spawning us, so, and then the other one. And then he wasn't there. He was with his cousin. His cousin was his major friend. También wanted by the feds and the DEA. So, okay, this trip, I'm gonna rewind a little bit. Tell you about this dude. This dude, he gets caught in New York, right? For a gang of birds, right? So they had him, they had him, they had him. They finally gave him bail. This fool bones out, he like goes on throwing his fingerprints and sew him back on upside down. Yeah. Well, one hand at a time because you need one to like, you know, you gotta go to the you gotta do your thing. So, this fool goes right back to, um, now he sets up shop in Chicago doing it. But now he lets his hair roll on, his beard's out. He look, he look like, he look like one of these ones. I get black with hair white. He has to wait, he ends up getting cracked, he ends up getting cracked. Back in Chicago, and he has no bail because they're running him, and the system says error. They, can't, they don't know who he is. 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 They finally give him bail. He rolls out over there. So we're with him over there, you know? So my boy's with him, the Supremo. He is dead. So there's some my car. Hey, we got tail. What? Yeah, I know. It's not my name. Making a riot, making a riot. I took Prime over there. I took Prime and I took him on the, the whole little route just to show him. Y este, nos están persiguiendo, and they're like, we on the way. So, el plan era que iban a venir, iban a bloquearlos, para que no, you know, so that we could smash out. Right. Y, 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 y yo era que, I kind of knew the streets because I was already more low key, I already had to come over. It was bigger. Come over the glasses, I was already nerdy with 
So at night, I would go and get food, and I, I wanted to go. I, wanted, I needed to get out. I was being, even though you're in a mansion, swimming pool, jacuzzi, we had a Cali Kings, everybody had a Cali King bed, PlayStation all fucking day long, like, a jaula de oro. Era una jaula de oro, la neta, exactamente lo que era. Y entonces, este, pues, I needed oxygen, you know, and I needed to be around people, even if it was every so often, you know? And then, uh, so, I would go to streets, so they're following us. There was a park where we would play basketball all the time. We would go to keep play basketball, come back. So we're going, and El Quiro Manejano was like, I'm going to punch it. I'm going to aguanta, I'm going to aguanta. Wait till this picture show up. Ah, no, I'm going to just punch it. You know, make it. I said, pass away. There was a, there was a famous newspaper in, in Jesus, I got a set up. This shit was like La Barba. It was it snitching out fools. It was chopped up. This new, newspaper, when you would read it, it's like a movie every week. You're like, how the fuck they get this info? There's got to be someone on the, on the, on the inside giving them, because there would be details and details. I ended up coming out when I got arrested. I came out with a set up. And uh, so right by there, it's the, right around there, it's, they're watching us. I'm on three cell phones, four cell phones. They're seeing me. They, they, know, they know it's the way he's coming from back there. So entonces, it's the, Long story short, it's the way he punches it. You walk up the casa and they go, okay, I'm a boy. Hey, saca todos los fierros. Put un bulletproof vest, saca todos los otros bulletproof vests. We're going to go to war. Yeah, we're going to go to war. Because in those days, like, it happened so fast that you might think, I have to put it too much on it. But when you're in that situation, no hay la salida. You would. Like, what was I do? Fucking drive around TJ for five hours. Backup was going to come eventually. You know, so as they were going, I'll be the actual, you know, bring everything out and be right there ready so that we could crash in. If you saw this for fora, we can have some moments that we stood up. He is there, but we're too close to the pad. So when 11 a.m. was, the last time I said, I'll go there. It's like we're 40 seconds away from the pad, 50 seconds, maybe a minute and a half. I don't know, but it was fast. When we, when we miramos que está cerrado esa madre, esa madre turns into a high speed chase. Now it's Grand Theft Auto, sidewalks. Crashing cars out of the way. It was like, las cuatro de la tarde, cinco de la tarde. You know, yes, they, I'm on the phone. Hey, hey, hey. hurry up. It's fine. Vamos como por atrás del casino. The big one in TJ is the más caliente. Vamos como por atrás. And I'm looking. This who's driving. I'm looking. All of a sudden, I get down. Why are you getting down? I'm like, damn. Because they came out the window with a big ass rifle. The scope was like that big. So it's the way he's like, He's out the window, and I'm like, oh, but like I'm telling him, like, hey, wait, we gotta split up because there's the, the, the tip on that shit's gonna be like that big. Somebody's gonna go through the car, he's gonna blow names off. We need to, like, we need to go. No way, no way, I want that, I want that. Let's just fuck it, let's just turn ourselves in. Yo, pues, ah, no quería yo. No sé por qué, pero yo no quería, y este. Finally, this dude pulls over, right? But they don't pull it right behind us. They stop a little bit back. Yes, oh yeah, I can hear pop cars coming. But este, so when we stop in front, allá este, en todos los bancos, en todas las casas de cambios, yes. no en todas, pero siempre está un, un estatal, un, un federal. There's, there's always an arm so uh, up in the front. So when these dudes jump out on us, they're like kind of like tactical. They go like they flank us like este. Um, it's the way he thinks it's like a, a hold up. So he tells them to to, 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 to stand down, and they're like, well, you stand down. And they're both showing each other badges. They're like, no, dude. They don't trust each other over there. <laughs> so when that <laughs> happened, we end up punching it, and we, we got away. We end up getting away. Oh, and, and we made like 30 car accidents because two days later, they cracked my board and driving. Trying to cross into the U.S. They raided him at the border. Right when he was going to like two cars to cross. Boom, and it's crazy because when we were around, okay, como es, él se fue, so he, vinieron por el carro for almost two days. There's a, this story is super long. There's a whole missing part that I went to go on for hours, but I'm just. They, they can hear it on your podcast. Yeah, they can hear it on the inside of Civil Survive. That's right. So entonces, este, you know, con, él se va, y como a la hora y media, the next door goes off. It goes off, and I just hear Get out of the house, get out of the house. The fence, the fence. You fail, you fail. So, even this mother, so that shit sounded like 
That shit was real fucking that fucking bad boys concert. That shit was loud as fuck. <laughs> so my it was, it was loud because no one's in the house. It's just us. And we're in the kitchen looking at the cameras. Like those party cameras. You, Wait, still, you guys stayed in Tijuana all that yeah, time? Yeah, back and forth. So at least for Tijuana. At least was that what you guys were doing? Yeah, moving around. How corrupt was the police up there in Tijuana? I mean, they still are, but how was it back then? I still, I still hadn't like, like, like found out how they were that bad until later. Okay. okay. Whatever. We get out. We get away. We end up on the east side of TJ. Mariano Matamoros. They went up. So later, right now, you ask about police corruption. Let's hear a little experience that you didn't listen yet. So entonces, okay. El primo, okay, you know the el primo de las fingerprints. Uh huh. Then otro primo. We're gonna call this dude, we give him a code name. Okay. Hey you, did you know California adults can learn for free with continuing education at Santa Ana College? Learn more today at sac.edu forward slash SDE. Okay. His only job, he would go to Chicago, fly to Chicago, and drive back a car with seeking apartments for the money. That was his job. So he would go stay for like two or three months while they collected everything. Ya lo armaban el carro y él se venía y entregaban a board y de ahí se le daban whatever. They'll put it on a semi or they'll put it in different ways. Or they'll put it in a different shit would happen. So that was his job, right? They yeah, built this house. This house, they built it in the 80s. It was major. All he fucked with was weed. Pulling semis into the property. So he built it like that, big ass walls. The driver was huge. If you see the pad, you you like, oh, this is like an old school don't get around. Like, this is like <laughs> Las Machadas, yeah, Tato, 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 Viejo, you know, but it is a bad ass property. And it was on the east side of TJ. And uh, like two blocks, and as a matter of fact, that street, his street was dirt still. And if you go like a block, you go down and make a right, that's where everybody throws the trash and sets the shit on fire. That's the dumpster. So there's always smoke and people burning the trash, right? So, gone. So, and way that takes care of the path, he's our boy too. So we're like, hey, he, yeah, fuck yeah, this is pay me. So we're doing our shit out of there, right? So one room is where we keep it, one room is where we cut, and one room is where we wrap. Drive is where you load. The whole production, the whole, line, yeah, yeah, semi line. So, semi -line. so. So, un día este güey me marca como las tres. He's blowing everybody up, but I'm the only one que con esto. Hey, he's on his way. He's already halfway across the U.S. He's, he's, he'll be here. Come and get all your shit out of here. Clean up. There was only mess. There wasn't stuff there. There was just the mess it's that the we had. So, entonces, ahí vamos. Pinche fabuloso. Incense. Cloro. We, we clean this whole shit up. So, so the top, you know, and we load everything up. And I had a shit. I had a Chevy Malibu, but it wasn't in my name because, you know, we used to do shit like that. Lo que era el nombre de otro de mi boy. He wasn't there. He is the, so we load up and we end up, it's me, my boy, and this dude that was a professional handball player. This fool was crazy. His brother was an ex-player de las Chivas. Right. And he was retired for all he did was play handball games, $5,000 games. It's crazy. And, and over there, the, las canchas, they're huge. They're, they're over here, you know. I don't know that big over there. Big. Really? It's called Fronton. Fronton? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Entonces, it's, it's food. It's más. I, I want to say his name, but I don't want to say it. But it, 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 it was like some, like some. He like, was the Jordan of handball, boy. His brother was. Really? Like, yeah. Next way, the last year. But este way también. This food run miles every morning. Y este, we took him to help us clean. Because he was, we had a little crew that the food. So, we took that food. And then, um, so we ended up the blue shake and red packages and our three black trash bags, big ones. The whole trunk was it's just triple beams, uh, grease, the wrapping, the machine that sucks the air out the bags, every everything, the tape, the duct tape, the ev everything that you would need for an operation, right? right? So when we come out, the plan is like, hey, wait, I'm gonna do a drive by, you throw the bags out, and we're almost with so when we're in there, I'm like, throw them out. He's like, nah, 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 right here, my boy. He is the, throw, I'm like, nah, throw them out. Where are you? Like, right there in the dump yard. Throw them out, throw them out. No way, no way. Go deeper. I'm like, no way, throw those shits out. 
en Daniel Army, they're coming out. That's what they're about. Right. So, entonces, estos güeyes de Isías, they threw a new turn, they threw the lights, they pulled the over. So, I'm driving, right? And then they're like, ¿de quién es el carro? No, no sé. I just kept saying, no sé. ¿Cómo que no sabes? No, pues no sé. Ok, salte el carro, por favor. And we all have a, like, thought, everybody got to see. Right now, if you would have a, a, an ID or license, a TJ, I would have told him. Yeah, because it, it wasn't like that back then. Right there, it was just TJ. Anybody from anywhere, it would be a problem, you know? Yeah. I'm not saying that I was with the Medical is the modern doctor's office for everybody in every lifestyle. Get 24-7 on-demand virtual care and in-person care at offices nationwide. All from doctors you'll love. This is no ordinary doctor's office. This is one medical. Click now to learn more. But, but I'm just, that's, uh, that's my friends, you know, my, my little crew that, that I was talking with at that time. Y, y este, so entonces, nos empiezan a perdonar, salte el carro. Oh, man. So they open the trunk, right? And everything was wrapped up in bags too. So when he rips the bags, he's like, Guess that's one. It was two triple things, one on top of the 